Margaret Oates Mother and Baby Unit is an eight-bedded inpatient facility for mothers and their babies who are suffering from a serious mental illness, um, predominantly in the latter stages of pregnancy up to a year postpartum. We cover predominantly the East Midlands area of the country, but we can take patients nationally. And the first few days will be just us getting to know mum. Um, we have a series of, of MDT professionals, so there'll, there'll be nursery nurses, healthcare assistants, staff nurses, occupational therapy, psychology, um, and they may or not all be involved with mum, but we will spend those first few days getting to know her, getting to know her baby, getting to know or assessing what, what's happening at that moment for her. We have visiting times, but they're flexible and we work alongside family members so that they can be here when they need to be here. As the consultant, I lead the multidisciplinary team. Um, I get to know the ladies, I listen to the different staff members and together we formulate an understanding of what's going on and then with the lady we formulate a care plan to help her recover. We make sure that mum and baby are both physically fit um, at, so that we can make sure we're looking after them properly. Uh, my job on the unit is to support mums with the care of their babies. Um, so when mums come on the unit, we will meet with them, discuss um, baby's care with them, the feeding needs, um, sleep routines, anything that they may need support with. It's my role to work with mums to identify how they live their lives um, and what they need to be able to do to be functional. So I work with them, work out where the disruptions are, and kind of build bridges between where they are now and where they want to be to be able to sort of return home and function in the way they want to. Within the unit there is a communal area um, of seating and dining, um, a kitchen which also has an ADL kitchen within that, um, a sensory room, nursery, a couple of bathrooms for mum, laundry and a quiet room. The most important thing for us on this site is that we have a, a garden um, that mums can access at any time. So the sensory room is just a quiet space we can come to so mum and baby to get away um, from the ward if it's busy um, together. It's just a really nice quiet space. We'll perhaps do a little bit of baby massage in here. It's sort of one-to-one -one time for mums and babies and we'll go through a routine with them. And it's really good for early sort of bonding and attachment. All of the bedrooms here are en suites, so they're safe environments. They've all got facilities for you to have your baby in your room with you, so cots or changing mats, um, really comfortable spaces. You've got your bed and also a chair. So the communal area is the largest room in the building, which is often the first thing that mums will see when they come in. It's a really multifunctional space, it's used for lots of different purposes. It's used for patients or mums to interact with staff over a cup of tea, they interact with each other, they get a lot of social support, we have friends and relatives coming in, a lot of mums have older children, they come in and will sit in the communal areas, we've got loads of toys as well for older children to play with. The outdoor space is quite similar to uh, how the communal area is used. Mums will sit often on a bit of a picnic or sit on a blanket with their babies, enjoy the sunshine. Um, we do a spot of gardening, so planting seeds and things like that. We would begin to plan mum's discharge on admission. Throughout her stay with us, uh, depending on how poorly she is and how quickly she responds to treatment, we would encourage some time at home. And that may be half a day to start with, leading up to sort of several days home leave. And throughout that time, we'll be liaising with the team in her area where she's going home to, to ensure that there's appropriate aftercare, probably with a perinatal CPN, a community psychiatric nurse, who would then follow her up within the community. Part of being a mother and baby unit is very much building their ability to be the mum that they want to be. Mm -hmm.